This isn't going to be one of my typical build videos, so if you don't want to hear me talking, just lower the volume and watch as I assemble this 3D printed model of a gas turbine engine. I want to take a few minutes and give you my thoughts on 3D printing, its place in a workshop, and why there's no better time to get into it than now. My opinion is based on my experiences with a single printer, since it's the only printer I've ever worked with. The printer I've been using is made by G-Tech and is commonly called a Prusa clone. It can be bought for around 320 US dollars plus about $10 for shipping. I have links below if you'd like to know the exact model. It comes to your door as an IKEA style flat pack, some assembly required box of parts. With a do-it-yourself kit like this, it's best to set a couple nights aside for it and come at it with a full tank of patience. Since it was my first experience with this sort of thing, I didn't know what to expect. I figured if I was able to print a couple wonky Yoda heads, it'd be a win. It did take me a couple nights of tuning to get things printing smoothly and consistently, but once it was, game on. For testing and tuning, I used random objects that I downloaded off Thingiverse. Some of those objects improved the functionality of the printer, like a cooling fan shroud and an electronics enclosure. Others were just for fun, like a model of a cute dragon. When I found the files for a gas turbine model, I knew that would be my first major project. This was a true sink or swim test, and as you can see, it came out great. With testing complete and feeling pretty optimistic, it was time to explore how practical a 3D printer could be made by making use of CAD software. The CAD software I decided to use is called Fusion 360. It's highly regarded and is free to use for hobbyists. Up until now, trying to learn Fusion 360 has been a chore. Having the ability to quickly print an object that I designed a few minutes earlier has made learning it much more approachable. Granted, I'm very new to CAD in general, and especially Fusion 360. So far, my practical modeling experience is made up of a smaller than average fidget spinner for my five-year-old, and a replacement shelf clip for the door on my fridge. Not exactly breaking new ground at the moment, but that doesn't matter. I'm developing long overdue skills, so I'll have them in my tool belt the next time they're needed. I hope you can see where I'm going with this. Price point to entry is as low as it can conceivably get. The internet is stuffed with countless files that talented creators have made so you can print useful everyday items. And if you can't find what you're looking for, the software to create that thing is easy to learn and free. I'm not joking when I say the biggest hurdle for me is not remembering that I now have the ability to solve problems by printing a solution. It's like the first month after I got a dust collection system for my table saw. I had it sitting there, hooked up, and ready to go, but would forget to turn it on before I made a cut. I'd be the cause of my own misery. A 3D printer is a cure for many miseries. Never again will I be caught on a holiday weekend without a hose adapter for my shop vac. Never again will I struggle to sand the contours of an especially complex piece of molding. Never again will my kids have to try to spin their fidgets with a fidget spinner that is slightly too big. I'll see you with a regular build video in the near future, but don't be surprised if you see the occasional 3D printed project peppered in here and there. As a thank you for hearing me out, I will now spin this 3D printed model of a gas turbine engine as fast as I can with compressed air.